peeps welcome back to my channel it's Dee's corner here today we're spilling the tea and also i'm on my water journey and also it turned it red butt and gray because you're gonna get some green tea also when you do that hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well and follow me on these corner if i'm not here making a video i am gonna be on my twitter so please check it out whoa 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 there's more you guys yep there's more ddg tweet it all right let's box and make some money pretty boy fredo ig live bleep is played out otherwise i ain't giving your your soft bleep no more attention i'm gonna slap you for free when i see you you got 24 hours handshake emojis okay so we're down to the box now let's just say okay do we have to really box it out do we really have to get to this point one day Fredo's yapping next day DDG's yapping or capping doing whatever do we have to really get down to this point you guys I guess so obviously Jasmine isn't bothered TT's mentioned it, but Ruby even even said it too. She don't have time for it. So why do we have to get to this box? This is where Fredo had responded to DDG. First response. He had 24 hours. So first response. Look, TJ, look, TJ got all your bitches. <laughs> Lil TJ, literally. Hold on. Them ain't even your bitches. Them Lil TJ bitches. <laughs> Yo, shout out Lil TJ. Lil T. Hey, look. That's why you got to get you a lawyer, girl. You ain't never had you a lawyer, girl. Can't nobody ever say they had Jasmine except me to this day. Not one person, not one person can say that they had Jasmine. That's what you call loyalty. You can never compare a lawyer girl like Jasmine to Ruby, Ruby Rose. You can never, my nigga. You date industry thoughts. <laughs> Yo, bitch, for the industry. <laughs> you cannot compare Jasmine to Ruby. There's no comparison. You got an industry thought. Yeah, she bad. I ain't gonna cap. She bad. Like, what the fuck? She came my way. I'm sliding the dick. But that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. I'm not putting a ring on no bitch like that. Hell no. Nah. But Jasmine, that's, that's wife material. That's wife material. That's this plain lane pier, but this the shit that be having me fucked up. Nigga, I was minding my own fucking business this morning. Minding my own fucking business. And next thing you know, I got fans sending me this nigga uh, got Jasmine at his lock screen. It's only 1227. Just getting the day started, man. Going crazy. Let's get it. Why? Get the day started. Yep, so, yep, DDG decided he just want to wake up and be like, hey, let me just put Jasmine as my box screen. And he knew for a fact if he did that, that would really trigger Free Boy Fredo. Do y'all think, I'm going to ask a poll question. Do y'all think DDG was right? How would you feel if you were minding your own business and somebody decides to have your boo? As their lock screen, your enemy. Like how you feel now. This other post DDG tweeted on tweeted tweet tweet tweeted on Twitter. Ooh, the, ooh, I got to that. Is this right here? He said, "You know, a bleed scared if he turned down a check to avoid some hands. Can't y'all just do it the natural way back in the day and just be? I mean, did I just say be <laughs> fight regularly? Like." Is this beef really, really worth for a big bulk of cash? I know DDG don't play about his money, and I know DDG gets his money, but do you actually think that this beef is really worth it? Like, for cash, like big clumps of cash. Like, do y'all really think it's really that serious? I was going to give that nigga, I was going to give him that shit right then. You got here. He read my message. He knew what time it was. He didn't respond. Now there, there's an opportunity for money. Now it's, oh, let's box for, nah, nah, nah. So this is what we're going to do. 
I accept your fight challenge, but only under one condition. If you beat me, DDG, which I doubt, if you beat me, all the money that if you beat me with goes to charity. All right? It doesn't go to your bitch ass. You don't deserve a dime. Highly doubt you're going to beat me. But if you just happen to beat me, all the money goes to challenge. Uh, all the money goes to charity. Now, if I beat you, I just have one condition. I just got one condition only. One condition. I want something. If I beat this man, I don't even want money. <clears throat> I don't want anything that has to do with money. I don't want money. I just want I just want one thing. That's it. What y'all think it is? What y'all think it is? If I win, I just want one thing. I just want one thing. What y'all think it is? I accept your challenge, but this is the one condition. It got to be it. You got to do this. If you win, the money got to go to charity. We not. I'm not boxing to put money into your pocket. You don't deserve it, bitch. You don't deserve a dime. You too money hungry. You fell off. You too money hungry. Now, if I beat you, this is my one condition. All right. If I beat you, I need, I need Miss Ruby Rose. I need her. And she got to fuck me and my whole team. She got to let me and my whole team run the train. them conditions will i agree to the fight if you agree to it then i'll 100 do it if you beat me the money goes to charity if i beat you me and my team we get to run a train on your bitch and we get to record it and upload it on only fans all right if you agree to that i 100 percent fighting you a hundred million percent if you don't agree to that then i don't know what to say i don't I can't believe that he just really said I'm gonna try if DDG loses. Wow, that mm, that's low. Seriously though. That is low to the low, low, that too low. Wow. And then they're gonna upload the OnlyFans. So that was his second response after uh actually he responded that on September twenty ninth. So that was his response. Now, um, DDG also was on Twitter, and I found this uh, message he had on his page. And this is what he had to say, responding to Prebo Fredo. Niggas don't know what I'm really on. So I don't know why they be motherfucking acting like they know what I'm on. They ain't never gonna know. But they wanna know, because I got the sauce. So as y'all know, DDG calls Fredo alfredo sauce i don't know like do y'all think ddg would accept fredo's only one condition it will be definitely different side of ddg because you know ddg will say oh yeah no cap money mine but we all we all think that he will and then my only thing about that when he was like going in on review and i don't like how they are going at it with each other, like blasting Ruby, but I think that's a little disrespectful as far as going on OnlyFans and doing whatever he just said, you know, in a response to that. And I just kind of f I find it funny that DDG has and went back on live just to defend Ruby. Is that really true love as well? That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Do you, who do you guys think is going to win? Share this video, like, and comment, and I gotta go, and I will chat with you soon.